Hi, Candice. Hi, Dr. Lombardo. How are you? Terrific. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. So how do certain scents cause us to feel different emotions, and why is that? Yeah, so here's the thing, your nose actually has about 5 million receptor cells and it's got a direct connection into your brain. Now it probably dates back to prehistoric times when you needed your nose for survival. So you could sniff out your enemies or even find food. Now we don't need our nose anymore for survival, but because the nose is directly linked into the brain and specifically the limbic system, and the limbic system is in charge of certain things like memory and emotions. And that's why you can smell a scent that you haven't smelled in decades and it takes you right back to say your high school sweetheart. And we spend a lot of time in our homes and in the kitchen in particular mm -hmm. is a gathering place for families. What can you tell us about smells in this room? Yeah, so let's face it, a foul odor can create a foul atmosphere. And one of the biggest culprits can be the kitchen sponge. Now this is why I joined up with scotch Bright brand. They've got this new extreme scrub sponge that not only eliminates the need to pre-soak your dishes, but it's also got a patented antimicrobial property that resists bacterial odor. So you can say goodbye to Spinky Sponge. <laughs> And with four times the scrubbing power, you can get your dishes done faster. So you have that sense of accomplishment, that ah, because clean feels good. And bad smells sometimes appear to go away after a while, but that isn't always the case. Is this immunity to stinky sense a real thing? Absolutely. So the smell is still there, you're just not aware of it. And we call it sensory adaptation. Again, it goes back to survival. You know, our brain is primed to smell dangerous smells. And when it smells something that it really realizes isn't dangerous, it stops noticing it. That's that sensory adaptation. It's why you can go into someone's house and it has a certain scent that they don't realize, or for example, if you light a candle, you smell that scent for a while, but it seems to fade away. That's sensory adaptation. And do you have any advice on how one can make their home smell great for summer entertaining? Absolutely. So I call these my happiness scents. Lavender is a great go-to scent. Freshly cut lavender not only reduces stress, but it also helps cure or get rid of insomnia. So putting it in the bedroom is a great idea. Vanilla is another great scent that's shown to promote joy and relaxation. And when you need a quick pick-me-up, forget the coffee, go for citrus. Just smelling this fruit can actually increase your alertness and your energy. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? Yeah, so when I'm having company over, one of the things that I love to do is create a simmer pot. So you put water and, and aromatic spices, herbs, fruit, turn it on and oh, it just smells so good throughout your entire house. Well, thank you for the great tips, Dr. Lombardo. Where can we go for more information? Yeah, for more information, go to scotchbright.com. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.